Well, first up, the latest on INS uh, Sindhu Ratna, the Indian Navy submarine from which an accident was reported. The two officers who are unaccounted for are feared dead. A lieutenant and lieutenant commander are believed to have been killed in the accident on board INS Sindhu Ratna. Well, sources earlier revealed that the two officers on board were missing. These two officers who were unaccounted for include a lieutenant commander, who was a deputy electrical officer on board, and an officer of the rank of lieutenant who was the watchkeeping officer. Headlines today has learned that the fire occurred in the third compartment of the submarine off Mumbai's coast. Sources have also told us that the accident has eerie similarity to the November 2008 accident on INS Chakra, an Indian nuclear submarine that was undergoing trials in Russia. There was a gas leak in the battery compartment and some personnel detected smoke and raised an alarm. Sources also confirmed that a few Navy personnel were suffocated during the incident. They have now been airlifted to safety and have been taken to a Navy hospital in Mumbai for emergency medical treatment. So the Indian Navy submarine, INS Sindhu Ratna, from which this accident was reported, is now headed back to the Mumbai shore after it was forced to surface uh, when smoke was detected on board. Virin Gunawat has more details right now. Virin, first up, a word on those two missing officers. The, the, the very important part is that nothing official is coming from Indian Navy as of now. All the all the information is coming from a sources, uh, and even even uh, nobody wants to get quote, uh, get quoted on that. But yes, two uh, sailors are still missing, and there's no uh, further information about their uh, whereabouts. But yes, the choppers are still searching uh, uh, these two sailors. Uh, the issue, in, initial information was that and more than nine people, nine, nine sailors were there in the in the submarine. But uh, but another information I was coming to that seven uh, sailors were there at that particular time when the incident was taking place early in the morning. But uh, all, all of them have been uh, rescued and uh, have been shifted to uh, to the local hospital, Navy hospital. But does the, but two sailors are still missing, and uh, it is also in the, the information coming that the submarine uh, is, is, is is should be taken to the coast uh, in next few hours. Thank you, All right, Virin, let me also quickly go across to headlines today's deputy editor, Shiv Arur, who's joining us on the phone line. Shiv, I believe you have more details right now uh, of this particular incident uh, and also a word coming in from the Navy on, uh, uh, on these two missing officers. Uh, that's right, uh, Ruchika. The, the, the uh, hope on the... But apologies for that. We'll try and reconnect with Shiv Arur, who will be joining us with the very latest on uh, what we're hearing uh, from that accident on INS Sindhu Ratna, the Indian Navy submarine that's now headed back to Mumbai shore after it was forced to surface when smoke was detected. Earlier, there were reports of uh, two officers missing. Uh, we're trying to get a word on what exactly is the status. In fact, four to five sailors who fell unconscious because of suffocation have been airlifted to safety. They're currently at a Navy hospital in Mumbai. Let's in fact try and bring to you the latest that we are getting, the inside story of what happened on board the INS Sinduratna. Uh, we are being told the fire in the forward battery compartment is believed to have re released Freon gas. Remember, Freon is a gas that's used in submarines, firefighting systems, because it rapidly displaces oxygen in confined spaces and kills fire. So that's the latest coming in. There has been a leak that has been reported. The fire that took place in the battery compartment is believed to have released this gas, a Freon gas, which is used in submarines, firefighting systems. Uh, Shiv Arur, I believe, is back with us right now. Shiv, over to you. Uh, uh, Rishka, what you're saying is, uh, is precisely what has happened. This was, this was a, a, a leak that was detected on board, uh, the, uh, on board the battery compartment of that particular submarine, uh, as a result of which the emergency fire response system activated. Uh, and like you, uh, like you just pointed out to our viewers, uh, the release of Freon gas uh, ensued uh, you know, to displace all the uh, hidden oxygen so that the fire was suppressed. Uh, now, this is precisely what happened, remember, like you also mentioned, uh, uh, during the INS Chakra incident in which 20 sailors had been killed a few years ago before that nuclear submarine uh, was delivered to the Indian Navy. Now, in this particular case, hope is receding because two officers, uh, one of the rank of lieutenant commander and the other of the rank of the lieutenant, uh, are both unaccounted for at this time. Because remember, uh, Ruchika, when the fire suppression system activates, uh, compartments within the submarine automatically get sealed. Uh, so as we speak, uh, those two officers are not accounted for. Uh, seven uh, sailors have already been evacuated from that submarine. They're currently being treated at the INS Ashwini Hospital uh, in uh, Mumbai's uh, naval area in Kolaba. 
Uh, but what we do know right now is that the submarine is uh, is on the surface. It's fully surfaced. It's currently on its way uh, back to Mumbai. Within the next uh, one and a half to two hours, the submarine should be back in the Mumbai Naval Dockyard. Uh, it is being escorted by at least two ships uh, with submar- with the uh, helicopters on board. Uh, uh, the ventilation process of the submarine has begun. Uh, there is no confirmation just yet about those two officers, uh, you know, being found just yet. So we're still awaiting a full confirmation. But we've spoken to at least two officers uh, who are part of the uh, part of the process to, you know, bring the submarine back safely. Who sa- who've said that they actually fear the worst. Well, Shiv, there has been increasing concern over the spate of these accidents that have been reported, and that too, particularly in the Western Command, the naval headquarter must be really concerned at this point. What is it that we are picking up from the top bosses? Oh, this is this is an absolute nightmare scenario for the Navy, uh, uh, Rojika. As you rightly pointed out, this is only the latest in what has been a spate of accident, at least the tenth or the eleventh, uh, you know, uh, sort of mishap in the last uh, six to seven months uh, since the uh, INS Sindhu Rakshak, uh, you know, calamity in August last year. Now, in this particular incident, uh, you know, this was a submarine that had just returned from Russia after a very expensive refit, uh, where several systems had been upgraded. Uh, you know, the submarine had been modernized in a certain way. Uh, and uh, what was happening off the coast of Mumbai, 60 miles off the coast of Mumbai, uh, you know, under the under the supervision of the Commodore submarines of the Western Fleet, uh, was uh, what you call an acceptance trial, which basically means the submarine was being worked up, uh, you know, to see its capabilities uh, post the refit and modernization in Russia. Uh, so this accident happening after that refit uh, is, extremely, is extremely concerning, extremely distressing for the Navy because... Uh, uh, remember, the INS Sindhu Rakshak accident happened uh, just a few just a few months after it had returned from Russia after a, a almost identical refit. Uh, so there's going to be a great deal of concern about uh, you know what caused this uh, you know uh, this battery gas leak. Was it human error? Uh, was it a mechanical failure? Uh, are there are there intrinsic problems with the design of that particular uh, compartment of the submarine? Because I can tell you that the the Kilo class submarines of the Indian Navy have been you know they've been they they've performed. Uh, very well in the past. The Kilo class is a proven design. Uh, you know, the Navy hasn't had grave problems with the Kilo class uh, in the past. Uh, the INS Sindhu Ratna itself, uh, Rishik, I just wanted to point out to our viewers, has been involved in one, at least one mishap in the past as well uh, when it was involved in a collision with, uh, you know, a sister submarine, the INS Sindhu K3, uh, just about 10 nautical miles off the coast of Mumbai, while both the submarines were actually approaching uh, the, uh, the, the Indian Naval Dockyard in Mumbai. Uh, so this is a submarine that's had, uh, you know, at least one mishap in the past. But right now, the entire focus uh, of the operation is to bring the submarine back safely and to find out, uh, you know, uh, and to recover the, those two officers and to find out precisely what their fate is right now. But I can tell you, like I said, that source is saying they fear the worst. All right. Uh, so indications coming in that uh, they are fearing the worst in this tragedy. There are two sailors uh, who are still unaccounted for, who are still missing. We also have our editor of Strategic Affairs, Gaurav Savant, on the phone line with us. Uh, and Gaurav, the bigger question that will stare at the faces of naval bosses is whether these, this can still be taken as just a one-off incident considering there have been spate of accidents or is there a larger play, uh, problem that is now facing the Indian Navy? As far as this particular incident is concerned, uh, Ruchika, what our sources are telling us is uh, there was some problem with the battery. Uh, there was an inspection on board. Uh, there were senior officers on board. And perhaps they had pushed the submarine. Uh, they pushed the envelope. They just wanted to check how good was the submarine performing uh, post uh, the retrofit uh, that had taken place, in which uh, something went wrong and there was an incident. Uh, they're still trying to figure out. The board of inquiry will reveal the causes of this accident. Uh, and as Shiv was just telling us, they fear the worst uh, for uh, uh, the, the electrical officer uh, and, and that young lieutenant on board. Two officers uh, still not accounted for. Seven sailors had to be airlifted. The two of them, uh, their condition is uh, feared to be critical. Uh, the others are fine. The submarine is now uh, being ventilated, coming back on her own uh, to the Mumbai harbour to 50 nautical miles off the coast of Mumbai, which right. is the general exercise area. But just now, uh, Navy, Navy extremely tight looks about the age of the battery, the condition of the battery, and so on. All those issues, we'll, we'll know more about that uh, during or after the Board of Inquiry. A Board of Inquiry now been set up uh, to look into what really caused this accident. Thank you very much, Gaurav, for joining us. We'll, of course, continue to update our viewers on the latest developments uh, as they come in.